hey good morning guys welcome back to the channel it's been one of those mornings where things have just been weird that i had rich bring over from the trailer garbage picked this a while ago and i just never got listed there was another big pot in that corner that i sold this morning but i hadn't started the video yet so around this bend right here is the dirt road and uh I got up at like four or five o'clock this morning to let the dogs out and there is a car that was on but the like driver wasn't driving anywhere it's like right over here like parked on the side of the lawn and I'm like that's weird but we live in an area where there's a lot of tourists and people that come for the hospital and uh, U of M college so it's not out of the realm of possibility that the guy was just lost. So I let the dogs go to the bathroom. I went back to sleep, got up at eight and the guy was still there. So I said something to Rich like, hey, this car's been sitting here since like four or five o'clock this morning. He's still sitting there. I don't know. So Rich went to go like see if the guy needed help. The whole side of his car, like it looks like he's been playing bumper cars half the night. He's wasted. Two of his tires are blown out. Rich did the responsible thing, called the police. The police did literally nothing. Triple A came and like left the guy there. I don't know. So now he's just still over there sitting in his car. It's been a weird morning. Point is, I didn't get the other one on video. <laughs> in the process, I had him bring this one out. Look how pretty this is. Like this is so pretty. So I just listed this for 35. Um, we did sell two pain in the ass things. Casket corners. Sold not one, but two casket corners. I believe these are the only two I had listed. Both are now gone. But here's the thing. Now we gotta find boxes for them because I don't think we have... This one I might have a box downstairs for. I gotta measure and see what I can find. This one I'm pretty sure I don't have a box for. That being said, we gotta go on a box hunt. And I also have to get, come here Indiana Jones. I gotta get Indy's microchip today. And hopefully we can go get her vaccines boostered, which means Wilma's well, Indy girl will be available for adoption. I know. I hope she gets the best home. <laughs> We've become quite attached to her. So anyway, that's kind of our plan. Um, over by where we gotta go get her stuff done. There is a couple thrift stores, so I think we're going to, oh my gosh, jealous. Are you kidding? Say hi to the people. I know. <laughs> um, where we gotta go to do all her stuff, there's a couple thrift stores. So I think that's our plan today. Box hunt, thrift stores. Let's go. I know I've said this before, guys, but if you want a, uh, a little tip, if you need bubble wrap, Ulta Beauty dumpsters are filled with really good bubble wrap. We just literally filled the van with bubble wrap and boxes. Okay, so we ended up not going thrifting. Uh, it took a little bit longer than we anticipated finding a box for the casket corner. I didn't even tell you guys what I sold those for. One of them I sold for $145, the other one I sold for $150. We only have one sale going out, and it's one of these. Hold on, my alarm is going off. I set alarms to make sure I don't forget things. I have to set a mirror out for a porch pickup before we leave. Sold one of these little flocked bunnies for $1.99 plus the cost of shipping on eBay. So I'm just going to put him in a mailer and stick him in my mailbox, and then we're going to head to a thrift store. Got the mirror set out for a porch pickup. This is one of the ones we garbage picked. It's got a really pretty beveled edge, though. Uh, I hit it up for 20 Somebody offered me 15 with pickup today, so I decided that was fine. We'll see if it actually gets picked up. Obviously, it's Facebook, so meh. I'm not going to hold my breath. Sold another thing. Uh, this is that... I almost said Patagonia. It's Pendleton. Uh, I didn't even know Pendleton made mugs. They do, and they're worth grabbing. I um, found this on one of the days I was volunteering. They had it marked for $3.00. Sold it on Etsy for $40 plus the cost of shipping. This is probably the most I've ever made off of a mug, which is interesting. 
Uh, I believe it is the Celebrating Horses blanket pattern. Something like that. But yeah, 40 bucks plus the cost of shipping on Etsy. I'm going to attempt to video this shirt and get it stuck in a poly mailer before little Leonis puts holes in it. <laughs> but I still don't quite understand this shirt. Um, I thought it was a band t-shirt. It's not. It's some, like, YouTube experiment, I guess. I don't really know. It's weird. I thought it was worth, like, 75 bucks. It's not. It's worth, like, 20 But I did sell it rather quickly. I sold it on Mercari for 20 bucks plus the cost of shipping, so I'm going to get this thrown in a poly mailer. This is an ashtray. It is the longest thing that I have had online, I am fairly certain. It finally sold on Etsy, and I didn't even look to see how much it sold for. Because it doesn't matter. We have lost so much money in this. I don't even know. In relisting fees. We're probably at least triple what we have into it. Like in the hole. Ten bucks. We sold it for ten bucks on Etsy. And like I said. If I add up whatever it was that I bought it for. Plus all of the relisting fees. We're probably thirty dollars into it. Because it's been listed for. I want to say like seven years. It's It's been a long time. Finally sold it. It's gone. And lastly, we sold this M.A. Hadley luncheon plate. It's a 9 inch in diameter, and I believe the pattern is called Farmer's Wife. But anyway, we sold it on Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping. So I'm going to get this ready to go out, and I'm going to sign you guys off. We'll see you in the next. Bye!